Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm bringing you a process video using the May kit from Creative Retreat Kits. So you can see here everything that comes in the kit, and I like to store it in one of the plastic packaging. I just cut off the sticky flap, and I store everything in one of those pockets, and then I can stand those up in a box all together, and I have them all stored together. Uh, you can see here this is the devotional. That's the subscriber exclusive that you get if you're a subscriber of the uh, kits. And then I went ahead and pulled out some favorite Castell pit artist pens in colors that match the kit and I'm going to use those on the entry today. So for today I'm working in Psalm uh, chapter 18 verse 2 and I wanted to use some of the lyrics from a song by Cutlass called Strong Tower and through Google I found this verse here that kind of goes with that song and so I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling here today and I'm first going to take some of these cardstock stickers and lay them out on some of the packaging and that way I can kind of get everything lined up and spaced out how I want it before I commit to sticking it on the page. The great thing about these stickers is they do have a really good adhesive, so they stick really well. Um, so I want to make sure that I've got them right where I want them before I stick them down um, and don't want to have to be pulling them back up off the page. So I'm going to go ahead and start placing those. And I went ahead and pulled some stickers so it says, You are my strong tower. And I could have used the stamps. There are stamps where I could have kind of mixed and matched the cardstock stickers and the stamping, but I decided just to use the cardstock stickers um, for this area here, and then I'll do some stamping here in a moment. So I went ahead and stuck all that down, and I didn't quite get my spacing right even by doing all of that, but I'll show you how I fix that in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil and I'm going to be creating a floral wreath using the stamps. So I'm just creating kind of a half circle shape on the page around those stickers and I'm sure to pencil it in really lightly. That way I can go back in and erase it after I do all my stamping. But this is just going to give me kind of an idea of where I want to stamp the flowers down. So I'm just making sure that looks how I want it. And then I'm going to be doing some stamp layering. So I'm first going to take these two flowers and I'm going to stamp them at, down on just some regular copy paper. And uh, today I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It's a waterproof ink. It does bleed through your rival pages if they're not prepped, so just keep that in mind. Um, I have yet to find one that doesn't bleed that's waterproof. So. It is what it is, but I'm going to be using those markers today to color in, so I did want to use something that was waterproof and wouldn't bleed once I started using those markers. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these flowers out. I'm cutting right along the stamped line of these flowers. I only wish that cutting was this quick, <laughs> but uh, these are pretty simple little flower shapes, so they're easy to cut out. So now I have my stamp masks. And then I'm going to go ahead and start stamping on the page. I'm going to take the larger of the two flowers first, and I'll stamp that down. But I'm going to put a piece of cardstock behind the page I'm working on. My Bible's getting pretty full, so I want to make sure that I've got a little bit more solid surface behind that page when I do my stamping. So now I've gone ahead and stamped that down, and I'm going to go ahead and attach the smaller flower to the back side of my block, and that way I can move along a little quicker. I went ahead and covered that larger flower with that piece that we cut from the copy paper, and that way when I stamp the smaller flower, it's going to look like it's behind the larger flower, and you'll kind of see that as we go along. So I still have that piece of copy paper over that flower and then I'm going to stamp down that little sprig piece and you can see now it looks like all that stamping is behind that larger flower. And you can do this with any type of images that you want to layer and stack um, just by making some masks you can make it look like it was all one image instead of multiple different images. So you can see here I have all my stamps loaded up on a couple different blocks. So I have the flowers, one on each side of the block, and then I have another block with that sprig. And that way I can just quickly go along stamping and don't have to keep loading a new stamp onto my stamp block. And that just makes this page go even quicker. So the page today is pretty simple. It didn't take me very long to do. And sometimes when I don't have a lot of time, that's what I go for. It's just some simple stamp and coloring, some stickers, and just keep it really easy. So I'm just going back and forth and filling in 
areas on this wreath using those pencil lines as a guide. And then now I'm going to take a fine tipped pen and fill in the circle shape. And I'm going to go over this several times to just create a really messy line in between all of these flowers. And then I will dry this, heat set it, before I erase the pencil lines. This uh, VersaFine ink is a pigment ink, so it stays wet a little longer. And so I'm going to make sure that I get that good and dry before I go at it with my eraser because I don't want to smear any of the stamping that I've done. I'm just making sure that's good and dry. And even after drying this with the heat tool, it wasn't quite 100% dry and I did have some areas that smeared, but I was able to just use my eraser to kind of erase some of those areas. So. I'm just gently going in and erasing all of those pencil lines. And since I had used a really light hand when I penciled that in, it's really easy to erase that. So you just want to make sure you don't press too hard with your pencil um, to where you have a difficulty erasing later on. And so now I'm going to take that same pen to go around the stickers just to kind of define them and help tie in the black that I have in the stamping and whatnot in the wreath around these. And then here's where I kind of notice that I have this blank area underneath it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to add underneath. I decide I'm just going to go ahead and hand write in the verse. And again, that's Psalm 18.2. And that says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, and whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. So there were a couple of verses that came up um, that were similar that would go along with this song. And um, this one was just one I hadn't journaled yet. So I went ahead and picked here. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the stamping with these markers. These are the smaller tipped pit artist pens. These don't bleed through the page unless you go over the same area several times. So I didn't have bleed through. I did have quite a bit of shadowing from these markers, but I really saturated these flowers with the color. So if you're just use a lighter hand, they don't bleed through. And they come in the big brush markers as well. I know those are pretty popular. I went with the thinner tip just because I thought I could use it for finer details like this. Um, the big brush markers are more convenient if you're going to be using it for stamping or larger images and things like that. So I may go back and get the bigger markers as well, but I've been able to do quite a bit of coloring with these smaller ones. So I've just gone ahead and picked out some yellows and aquas that match the kit. And this pen here, I didn't really have a good light pink color. This was more of a peach tone. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, but then I'll go back in with a kind of deep pink marker and add some detail to those pink areas just to make them look a little more pink and a little less peach, if that makes sense. And once it's all done, it all kind of comes together and looks just fine now that I've added a little bit of pink detail. So again, just really simple coloring and this went by really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and take a Uniball Signo white gel pen to add some white detail to the flowers. And I only have that one white sticker used at this point and so I wanted to bring in a little bit more white to the image just so everything looked cohesive. I'm going to go back to that aqua marker and just add some dot detail around the wreath just to add some more details to it. And now I'm going to bring in some of the heart stickers. So I pulled one of the yellow hearts from this month's kit and I went back to last month's kit and I had one white heart left. So I went ahead and pulled that out. That way I have a little more white in this image. And the hearts don't stay there. I end up putting them down here underneath the other stickers to kind of balance everything out. So I'm first going to lay down that white sticker. I go around it with the fine tip pen and then I'll go in with the yellow sticker 
as well. So that's going to be pretty much it for the entry. I didn't do a lot of journaling. Um, with a page like this, usually I'm kind of praying and just in conversation with God as I'm working on it. Um, a prayer that, you know, he is my strong tower. He's who I need to run to when I'm feeling weak or when I'm frustrated or just down. He's who I need to run to. So uh, this page just went really well with some of those song lyrics. So that is it for the page today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. Head on over to the blog and see how the other girls are working through this month's kit. And you can head on over and get this month's kit. I'll have a link down in the description bar down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.